So Russian, Russian is my native, I will introduce myself. My name is Angelina Dimikhanova. So for English speaking people, it's usually easier to pronounce my name in English way. Thank God I have equivalent, yeah, Angelina. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, my first education, psychological education, actually, this is my, uh, this is the only education I have, not first. <laughs> Uh, but I have uh, my passion since uh, childhood. So, and this passion is uh, martial arts. And the idea about this lecture came to me uh, not now. Actually, I, I was lecturing uh, months ago the same <clears throat> topic uh, in Russian. And uh, people who are here now, also some of them. Uh, I know that you have been watching yeah, this uh, lecture, uh, but uh, idea came to uh, lecture in English because uh, we have many uh, people um, who really want to know about philosophy and uh, psychology of uh, martial arts, not only in Russian language, uh, but in English uh, language also. And uh, usually, you know, if to speak about martial arts, so there is such thing that usually uh, if you're a professional martial artist, uh, you are speaking only about philosophy of martial arts, uh, but not about psychology. And because uh, I have a degree, a scientific degree also in psychology, uh, that was my idea to give this lecture about uh, psychology and philosophy of martial arts. Uh, but we gave um, a name yeah, to this uh, lecture, how to achieve harmony through the art of combat. And, you know, in uh, Russian language, uh, it's a uh, very tricky language because the word uh, combat, uh, sometimes we translate as fight. Uh, and uh, it's completely different uh, meaning. But the idea of any martial arts, of course, it's not only fight, yeah, because martial arts has this uh, strong philosophical component. Uh, and, uh, of course, we talk not about fight, but uh, about combat. And another part of this um, name that we gave to this lecture, it's uh, how to achieve harmony uh, through the art of combat i'm not sure that in english it sounds uh, so beautiful uh, as in russian because i'm not a native speaker but uh, i see people here who can speak english and i suppose this is your uh, native language uh, it's not about beauty <laughs> but it's uh, somehow about beauty because uh, the name of the lecture is um, i mean it's also about art and harmony because in uh, some sounds we also can hear sometimes uh, uh, harmony so i hope in english it sounds um, <laughs> the same way as in russian yeah Okay, uh, and I know some of you, but uh, can you maybe um, tell a few words about you and how you are related uh, to martial arts? Because uh, the topic is very specific. Yeah, if even I'm a psychologist, I have some colleagues here, but we are going to speak about um, anyway martial arts, not only about um, psychology. Okay, uh, so because um, I uh, do this lecture a uh, second time, I mean, uh, for one month, second time in other language. <laughs> so last month I was lecturing on the same topic in Russian, but now I will try to give the same topic in uh, English, but I don't have to repeat. And as people, yes, yeah, participants and my colleagues and friends told, it's not necessary to repeat the same scene, yes. Uh, and um, anyway, uh, to be honest, and I can't repeat. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a scene. Uh, it's a usual story because it's uh, very difficult uh, to tell the same uh, scenes twice. I never was uh, successful in this since I'm uh, lecturing uh, since 2010, <laughs> and uh, never can't repeat the same scene. But I will try to keep this idea. Yeah. Anyway, the idea of this uh, lecture is uh, how to achieve harmony through the art of combat. So that's my idea. 
and uh, I will be really thankful to you if you uh, can ask some uh, questions. It's not necessary just to wait me when I tell, because all of you have some experience uh, in life, not only in martial arts, but in life, in communicating, interacting with other people. Yeah, And uh, if to talk about, um, for example, philosophy, it's not necessary to be philosopher anyway. We have our own experience, and it's also kind of our own philosophy. So if you want to ask some questions when I will be um, telling you something, it's uh, it's okay. I can be flexible. It's not like I have a plan and I have to <laughs> tell something. Okay? So just uh, raise your hand and just uh, ask your questions. I, I will start, yeah? So um, not start, actually. I will continue because <laughs> we started already. Um, I can't speak for each style of martial arts, uh, that's a scene, but uh, to be honest, uh, the idea of any martial arts uh, is really um, different uh, than idea of sport. You know, in, in Russian language, we have this expression, um, oriental, um, oriental, it's like Eastern philosophy, yes, yeah? so, or oriental martial arts. Uh, I'm not sure, because martial arts, it's like uh, the art of for combat, yeah, so this uh, translation of um, these words. Uh, but also in Russian language, we say about uh, different oriental uh, combats. <laughs> so if to uh, to give direct translation, <clears throat> but idea, you know, what makes uh, so specific this uh, oriental part of the world, uh, and it uh, really. Um, it has some, not really, but it has some uh, difference with the Western part of the world. Not only because we live in different uh, part of the world, but um, it's like people say that, uh, for example, for Eastern philosophy, uh, it's more, uh, it's like a feature of Eastern thinking. Uh, it's more intuitive, intuitive, yes. It's like uh, it's like that. Then Western uh, thinking and understanding of the world, because uh, Western uh, part of the world is more rational oriented. But of course, it's uh, not like very you know strong and clear, and it's uh, really like that. Everything is flexible. But anyway, martial arts appeared many many years ago, and they appeared in uh, India, China, we have uh, a yeah, different style of martial arts, uh, Korea, so I don't know, Japan, I will be speaking about Aikido because Aikido is a Japanese martial arts. But anyway, uh, of course, people um, had this fight and combat uh, not only now and not even 2,000 or 3,000 years ago, but many, many uh, years we have uh, as human being, we have to uh, have a deal with uh, human aggression. So, and this is usual scene when we have a conflict. And uh, during all our history as mankind, uh, uh, we kind of um, had different uh, time uh, with these uh, fights and uh, combats. It's usually about fight. And of course, uh, in Western society, for example, there are different style of this style of combat yeah it's like that combat of fight how should i put it the styles of combat of fight <laughs> i think um um mm -hmm. no fight would be a better word here yeah okay so for, for so it's uh, again it's a difference yeah uh, yeah and it has uh different meaning yeah because combat it's in the process mm -hmm. but uh fight is in general different types of fight but mm -hmm. combat is when you are in the process of fighting in the process of fighting yeah. <laughs> in russian language is completely different uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. so i hope i will be able to give some meaning <laughs> to this uh idea okay okay yes okay so uh but what i'm trying to tell yeah why i'm asking about this uh, linguistic uh, difference because so when i uh, speak about fight okay or combat or different style of fights of course it's not uh, 
they uh, appeared not uh, only uh, in eastern part of the world, yeah, and uh, they, um, of course, um, exist uh, in any parts of the world. We have different style of uh, this uh, fight. For example, during uh, medieval, yeah, people were fighting with sword, yes, and uh, we remember this uh, time of nights, for example. But what the difference here, for example, uh, for knights, when they um, uh, got this um, idea, when they were fighting or when, when they were in combat, uh, they didn't uh, kind of put this purpose to achieve enlightenment. <laughs> so in this uh, fight, so the idea was to protect or to win or to achieve something, to conquer, yeah, probably. So it's, it's actually idea of fight. Yes, uh, I don't know if it's uh, in English, it's uh, the same meaning. Uh, yes, but it's uh, idea to, to fight. But in martial arts, when we speak about Oriental, yeah, philosophy and Oriental uh, style of fights, uh, the idea is not uh, about fight. The idea is uh, sometimes in some martial arts to achieve uh, enlightenment, enlightenment. Enlightenment. Sapori. I'm sorry. So Japanese word is more um, yeah, suitable here. I don't know any other words, but Sapori probably, you know, this is a term that uh, came to us from Zen. Yes. Um, and in that sense, uh, this is one of the difference uh, that give uh, this uh, idea to martial arts uh, that it's not only about how to win the battle or how to win your opponent, but uh, how to achieve harmony with uh, your opponent, uh, who, for example, in Aikido even uh, doesn't have such name like opponent. We call the person who is uh, doing the technique with us, so we call him Uke. So if to give uh, the direct translation from this uh, Japanese language, Uke is the one who is receiving the technique. Nage, uh, the one who is giving the technique. So in Aikido, for example, um, the idea of martial arts is uh, to achieve uh, a harmony with a help of fight, of course. We don't have to forget that anyway, in any martial arts, we have this idea of fight. It doesn't mean that it's like, oh, if it's Aikido uh, and this is the peaceful martial arts, uh, we don't have uh, a deal with aggression. Of course we have, but I will tell about this a little bit later. So what I'm trying to tell... So when these um, old styles of fight or com combats, old styles of martial arts, when they appeared, of course, they had um, a purpose to protect ourselves. Aggression has the same uh, idea. Uh, so there are many uh, theories in psychology, but uh, I believe that theory that uh, um, aggression is um, an instinct. We have it, uh, yeah, and we need it because uh, aggression... Uh, helps us uh, to survive. Mm, we need it. So, and uh, in that sense, of course, when people invented all these different styles of fight, uh, we had uh, the common purpose uh, to protect our lives and yeah, to protect uh, myself uh, from something. Uh, but anyway, for example, when in Europe, yeah, uh, the time of war. Mm, be honest, uh, war never ends, uh, but okay, there was some time when, for example, <laughs> it was a peaceful yeah, time, and when, uh, for example, different uh, style of weapon uh, was invented, um, for example, these uh, fights um, with swords disappeared. So knights uh, disappeared as society from, from Europe, yeah? We don't have knights there right now. Yes, I do. You want to ask something? Yes. Yeah, I, I just want to uh, ask one question. In this moment, can you clarify what you mean when you are saying about uke? So, how you understand uke and how you understand nage on the tatami? Please, can you? Okay, so uh, I was telling that, uh, for example, in a different style of fight or, or anyway, if I fight with someone, I always uh, tell, okay, you are my opponent. Yeah, but in Aikido, uh, we have different terms. So, uke, so this person, if to give direct translation from Japanese language, that means the one who is receiving the technique. 
So he is not uh, a person who is def uh, defending himself, or he is not the person who is attacking, or he is not my opponent. So he is the one who is receiving. But Nagi, uh, so this person is the one who is giving a technique. So this is uh, specific of Aikido. We have even different uh, terms uh, than other martial arts because in Taekwondo, in Karate, we uh, speak about opponent. In box, we speak about opponent. If to uh, to speak about different uh, style of sport, of, it's not about martial arts, of course, uh, there are different, now we have different kind of sports uh, where we also use fight. Okay. In judo, in, for example, uh, we have opponent. And in any uh, sport activity and other martial arts, uh, we have competition. In Aikido, we don't. So that is why um, I suppose we have such type of terms. It's, but this was, um, I mean, idea of Uishi by Yad Bounder. Right? So, did I answer? Did you get it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. But you speak Japanese. You have to, I mean, oh, it's... <laughs> No, but I really want to understand what you mean when you're speaking like ah. nage and okay, and maybe it's like, okay. <laughs> maybe you put some another meaning or maybe deeper meaning. <laughs> maybe, of, of course, anyway, yeah, <laughs> we put uh, uh, some our own meaning to words, but yes, uh, it's like a term, yeah, okay, and nage and yeah, I meant uh, this thing. So I'm trying, okay, I will continue. So this idea um, uh, about martial arts, so uh knights for example disappeared uh, so people in europe uh, they don't uh, have this uh tournaments uh, tours with knights now okay maybe it's like more um, tradition or some something like uh, uh like you can have it for fun yeah or you want to see how it was in history but uh, if to talk about martial arts they didn't um disappear when for example a uh, different type of weapon was invented so when we got uh, this uh, weapon where um, we can shoot and sh shot shot yes shoot <laughs> um so in that sense uh when for example to japan uh, this weapon arrived uh, martial arts uh, didn't disappear there in china the same idea so um, uh, in korea is uh, the same idea so when other type of weapon was invented i'm sorry i don't know this english uh, word could that help me so it's like um <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. It's uh, I mean, I usually don't uh, lecture about martial arts, martial martial arts in English uh, because I lecture about martial arts in Russian usually. But uh, I lecture about what was the word in English? What was porach. the word? Porach. 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 A, a gunpowder. Gunpowder. Ah, okay, guns. Okay. Yes, sure. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, so that was I uh, trying to tell when, for example, gunpowder appeared. Uh, it's a different uh, idea how we can won the battle. But anyway, martial arts, they didn't uh, disappear. But for example, knights, uh, they disappear as a military society but samurai continue to exist uh, to my opinion not only to my opinion but of course it's it is connected because uh, in martial arts we have this uh, uh strong philosophical part so this make this uh, martial arts very specific and it makes uh, it's uh, very different from a, even sport activity so it's not um, only about Aikido, any martial arts uh, has a really strong philosophical background and it varies from country to country. So in Japan, for example, it's a mix of Shinto, of, Shinto, yes, of Zen, of uh, Taoism and um, I'm not sure it's Confucian, it's like Taoism, yes, Confucius. <laughs> I'm sorry. I never used this uh, term in English before, but uh, I mean, I hope you understand the other idea. For example, in India, it's about uh, different um, idea of understanding the uh, the wo the world. Yeah, they have this um, belief in uh, many gods. Yeah, Krishna, Vishnu, and etc. So I mean, it it varies from country to country in, in 
East, of course. But uh, anyway, it has a really strong philosophical component that sometimes based, of course, on um, religious understanding of the reality and world. So does it make any sense for you? Yeah, is it is it clear? <laughs> okay. Uh, so and uh, this make um, this makes very specific uh, martial arts. And in martial arts, of course, we have this philosophical background, we have this technical background, and this technical background varies from style to style. For example, in Taekwondo, people use more kicks. Yeah, in Judo, it's more like uh, you have to throw a person. Yeah, in um, Aikijitsu, this uh, style um, originally. I mean, uh, Morihei Uishiba took some techniques from Aikijitsu, but uh, Aikidaitoryu Jitsu, this, this style was um, kind of invented. So if you do any technique there, you break the joints. Uh, for example, in karate, they, uh, they have different kind of strikes. So I mean, any martial arts, they have its own technical um, idea and it, it is varies. It doesn't mean that this one is better or that one uh, is not good enough. No, any martial arts are good. And if you are professional, if you are master, uh, it doesn't matter uh, which style you practice. So because uh, technical part, this is only one part of uh, this uh, system that uh, there is in any martial arts. So as I, as I told you, yeah, there is a philosophical background that varies from country to country. It's uh, understanding of a person, of human being, of reality, of relationship with reality. Uh, and it varies. Uh, in China, it's one story. In Japan, it's another story. In the um, third story, and etc. Yeah? Technical parts. It's like uh, I have different uh, styles. Yeah, I have different techniques. I can throw, I can kick. I can uh, break something, I can use a weapon, I can shoot and etc. So this is technical uh, part. And third part, it's psychological, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, psychological part, that uh, because um, that part we have, uh, for example, um, when you train any technical uh, things and physical activity. So the technical things usually connected, of course, uh, directly with physical activity. And uh, in psychology, we have solved those such researches. For example, if you uh, kind of do some sport, uh, your attention um, becomes more, um, how to say, so more, more flexible. Yeah, you can, from one side, you can switch your attention fast. From another side, you can keep your attention uh, very long. So your attention uh, become, becomes better if you practice any sport activity. This is directly connected with physical things. But in martial arts, for example, uh, we have uh, this uh, technical part, yeah, this physical part, of course, and this part is uh, really developing my uh, cognitive uh, skills also. So attention, this is a feature that belongs to cognition, if to speak about psychology. So it is very useful to practice any martial arts because you train your attention. You train when you tra uh, train your physical uh, body. Yeah? Uh, it's literally you can increase in your strengths. And uh, martial arts system consists of discipline. Yes. Yeah? So and if you follow these rules these rituals you become disciplined yes and it's a kind of psychological uh, feature if i uh, can um, can do something on time yes i i will i'm I'll say i'm well organized and etc so this is psychological feature so does it make any sense for you i mean is it is it clear yeah so and this is kind of specific of uh uh, martial arts because three sides of this system and that is why it's uh, still um, and that is why we still have these things in the world even if we have different uh, type of weapon so now for example to protect myself uh, in the situation of uh, war I don't need to, to know any style of martial arts I can just uh, uh, take the gun and shoot a, per a person so it's not necessary yeah? but anyway uh, for I mean behind martial arts it's a different idea 
And uh, the other uh, idea that uh, we have in martial arts is uh, harmony. To be honest, uh, if um, from one side it's very funny yeah, when when you speak about harmony, is how you can uh, be in harmony if you f fight. I mean, this question usually have people who are not in martial arts because uh, it's very often, yeah, when I invite people to join uh, my group because I'm also um, Aikido teacher, I'm not only a professional psychotherapist or psychologist, and I teach. Um, in uh, the university uh, psychology, but I also teach Aikido. And for example, when I invite someone to come and practice uh, Aikido with me, uh, people usually who are not professionals, they kind of don't see difference. It's box, judo, Aikido, karate, wushu. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's like just, uh, it's it's a fight. It's aggression. They usually behind uh, of the world, uh, of the word martial arts, You people usually have this meaning it's like aggression. It's a fight. It's a fight, and uh, people, they, <laughs> it's like uh, when you invite someone uh, to join psychology lecture, it's, uh, you, you can see more desire in their eyes. Oh, yes, I will come then. Okay, can come and join my Aikido class. No, <laughs> uh, Mark, what? No, 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 I have to think. Uh, so it's uh, in our human um, thinking, yes, yeah? so we have uh, this idea that if you are not in martial arts, you don't understand uh, this idea that martial art artists, actually, if you're a professional martial artist, uh, you don't uh, have uh, a deal with this aggression. I mean, you have a deal. Uh, I mean, you, as I mentioned before, all of us, we have in human being interaction, this sense where we have to have a deal with aggression. But if you are a professional martial artist, artist and for example what's specific of aikido you kind of have a deal with this aggression but it's next level level i in the world in the word aikido means harmony and if uh, to pay attention how we pronounce this uh, word i it's spelling like uh, harmony but if to hear it it's also has another meaning uh, that means love love so in psychology, um, if to talk about uh, psychology, yes, um, usually when people, when we are born uh, into this world, uh, we don't laugh. So laugh is the next uh, step because small child, infant, he doesn't know what uh, does it mean to, to laugh. I don't know when I I kind of appeared in this world. I didn't choose a place where to be born. I didn't choose my parents. I I didn't choose time uh, when to appear in this world and uh, world. Sorry, and of course when I am in this world, I have to uh, cope with this reality that I didn't choose. And um, the first uh, instinctual biological reaction that we have uh, when we are small, it's a aggressive reaction. It's normal. It doesn't mean something abnormal. It's okay. And we keep this uh, aggression, as I mentioned before, until the end of our uh, lives. And, for example, uh, if you start practice uh, any martial arts uh, before the first days, if you remember when you uh, and the training your first days, you can't be and uh, very calm and love uh, a person who is attacking you because it's attack anyway. Uh, so the system of martial arts uh, based upon attack. So I can't learn martial arts without fight. So I, can, I just I can't read books and learn martial arts. I have to fight. And if you remember your first days when you were in dojo or on the mat, yeah. So if someone is attacking me, of course my response, automatic response, is aggressive. I mean, it's okay. But in, uh, so what I was trying to tell about Aikido, so this uh, very specific yeah, martial arts, uh, because in Aikido, we have a deal with I, is harmony. So love is the next step. So I have to go beyond my aggression. And um, I don't want to tell about history of Aikido because, um, I mean, it's uh, kind of, everyone can, um, yeah, Google it. And uh, it's like, I'm not a... Uh, historian <laughs> uh, it's uh, better if I speak about the things I understand more in this martial arts but if you uh, tell a few words about um, uh, Aikido so Morihei Ueshiba when he invented this martial arts his idea was uh, to 
uh, invents a different style of martial arts where we, we we use aggression in a new way, but we go beyond this aggression. So this is next level. And so I do a technique uh, to my own care with this harmony and with this love. It's an exp- it's it's very difficult. It is uh, very difficult, and some of you who are trying or maybe kind of thinking about this, um, if you kind of think about just your relationship with other people, it's very difficult when someone is uh, attacking you not only with physical, I mean, <laughs> punch, yeah, but with words. Uh, it's very difficult. Um, to stay calm and to accept uh, this attack, uh, to be respectful to this person and uh, to stay in harmony, in peace with him and uh, to tap on this attack. It's very difficult. So uh, again, I remember, I remind you this idea that I'm trying to uh, tell. It's in psychology, we have the theories and I believe in this uh, type of theories. So when we are born in this world, aggression is uh, the first thing we have. After I uh, grow up, I understand that there are other people. Uh, There are, um, I mean, some rules. There is reality that I don't control. I, uh, I somehow learn how to cope with my aggression. And next stage, if I, for example, next step, next level yeah if i kind of i am in contact with this aggression i can love i, I don't want to go to this um, theory in psychology that uh, kind of exists during this conception but i hope you you got yeah this idea but if uh, to talk about directions in school of course it's like analytical approach yeah they talk about uh, this idea and and many theories about this but in martial arts in aikido especially uh, when Morihei Uishiba invented this um, martial arts, the idea was uh, another level. Yes, go beyond aggression. And it's not a secret if to talk about his uh, yeah, biography that when he was young, uh, he studied many different martial arts. So Aikido actually is a synthesis, it's a mix of different style of, uh, styles of fight. But when he was um, young, he was very cruel. And his direct... Um, Disciples, dis- disciples, pupils, yes, students uh, were telling that he was breaking the bones. <laughs> and uh, after only, yeah, when uh, when uh, he experienced this uh, Satori, he was uh, more than 40 years, he understood this idea that uh, there is a key, yeah, I mean, the key is a concept of uh, Japanese philosophy, and Japanese people, they believe that key is existing in uh, everything, in human, uh, in humans, in plants, in, in, in the universe, so it's, a, it's an energy. In Chinese tradition, they call it like uh, the or chi in psychology we call uh, this things uh, like psychic energy yeah uh, but uh, key this is a japanese term and of course because uh, uishiba um, he was born in japan and uh, he was following omoteru sect yes uh, it's a Sinto. Yeah, he uh, had this uh, belief and understanding that uh, there is a key, and uh, key is everywhere. And uh, if I learn how to um, take uh, this key, and uh, there is right and wrong key, and uh, right key, uh, correct key, so it's like a light key. And uh, if I and uh, trust this world, wo- world, yes, I trust the universe. If I and uh, trust all this uh, eight million gods that exist in this universe in one time, I can use this key, this uh, I, this love. But this is a way, this is path, this is door. <laughs> so it's not appeared immediately, this is process. So that uh, actually, I just described the word of Aikido. What does it mean? I mean, I can't uh, answer on uh, other martial arts styles, but uh, anyway, they have the similarity. I told you yeah, that it, it has each martial uh, um, art has its own philosophical b- background. I can talk only about Aikido, uh, but anyway, it's very specific because Aikido we also call as um, art of peace. So this also was the idea of Uishiba when he wrote um, this uh, 
it's not a book actually it's more his expressions yeah uh, but um, when he wrote this he book uh, he called it uh, art of peace but we know that uh, uh, in history uh, in china yes yeah, so we have this uh, very famous military book that uh, we call the art of war so this um, idea belonged uh, to Ishiba. It's like uh, he was trying to show this different uh, background, the different side of martial um, arts. And that's actually uh, the harmony. So uh, his fight, <laughs> his combat, with this physical activity, uh, with this um, uh, training that they have to do every day, uh, I can achieve this uh, harmony because... Um, it's like I have to won not my opponent. It's more about Masakatsu Akatsu. Yes, it's I have to win myself, won myself, win myself. <laughs> uh, so the, the, this kind of yeah, uh, idea that goes this um, Aikido, yeah, uh, background, but any martial arts it's idea not to uh, win an opponent, but to win my, my, myself. Yes, I have to know myself. I... Um, and understand myself and I, I, it's like if i understand and know myself i know my possibilities i know my limitations and uh, if i know the sins uh, i know the, uh, the world i know the reality the universe and it's easier for me to stay in harmony and another thing that i want to add is also about harmony so uh, it's uh, also system of martial arts for example if you train something uh, and if you probably saw some uh, movies about martial arts uh, uh, all these masters they were good in many arts not only in, in martial arts for example most of them they were able to write uh, poems songs um, so they were very talented and this idea of any martial arts, I am developing all um, um, sides of uh, all sides of my life. Not only it's like oh, I'm training a lot and I every day on the um, like physical training, and that's all. No, all my um, life has to be in harmony. I have to develop different. Uh, uh, part of my uh, life, and this idea of also high level of masters, because in, in uh, East, in Oriental philosophy, we have uh, such expression. Yeah, it's not. It's like I will try to give you idea. It's not like uh, I, it's not quotation, but the idea there is a principle and there is a technique. And for example, if you achieve some technique if you understood some some something um a very perfect how to do it technically for example you play the guitar uh you can play perfect yeah so this uh, guitar and you will become a good professional but if you can uh, achieve and understood uh the principle of playing you can use this principle in a different uh, style and um, different sides sorry of your life not only how to play in guitar so high level of master is uh, to achieve the principle not the technique so for example the word kung fu from chinese uh, uh, if to give direct translation, this means to be master in something. It's not only about martial arts. So that was confusing. Yeah, when Bruce Lee um, developing this um, uh, Jeet Kune Do style. Yeah, in America, uh, everyone now is calling yeah uh, martial artists as kung fu East, kung fu. But kung fu uh, in uh, Chinese means um, to be master in something. It's not necessary in fight. So this idea uh, that uh, the reason my martial arts and we are trained like that. So the, another thing that makes this martial arts very specific that we have, it's necessary. This is like requirement. <laughs> uh, we have to have uh, a teacher, a sensei. Yeah. So in Japanese system, it's sensei. In uh, China, it's shifu, yeah, for example. I don't know about uh, other countries, but uh, that's kind of yeah idea. Um, so I have this uh, sensei, I have this teacher who, by default, he achieved already. He understood the this uh, world, the technique, the principle. He knows um, better than me. He is more wisdom. Yeah, and uh, we have such expression when, for example, 
pupil or student is ready, his uh, teacher is arriving himself. And the second part of this expression, but when the student is ready, the teacher is leaving. <laughs> so this is again uh, also important for martial arts because uh, teacher uh, it's um, to be teacher in martial arts you have to be by default more experienced uh, than other people. I mean you have to achieve um, the principle subtlety. <laughs> but uh, it's um, ideal, of course. It's not always like that. <laughs> we have a deal with different yeah, teachers in our life, but anyway, so in Oriental philosophy and in uh, martial arts, uh, yeah, that's the idea. Um, the figure of a teacher, the figure of sensei is more wisdom. So he helps you to follow the path, the door, the way, uh, how to achieve harmony in your life, not in other people's life, yeah, but it's uh, your life. Okay, <laughs> did you get it? <laughs> I, I think it's uh, enough for me to uh, to lecture. I, I I wait for the questions. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Angelina. I just wanted to um, um, know your opinion uh, when you uh, uh, were speaking about uh, harmony. How uh, uh, close or how far um, is the meaning of harmony for you uh, from um, uh, spirit or spiritual search? It's not far because it's uh, you see the, the the idea is like um, anyway martial arts it's uh, it's a lot about uh, philosophy. But okay, uh, it's uh, if continue to this idea of philosophy, uh, it's uh, a lot about spiritual things, of course. And it's, um, in martial arts, there are a lot of uh, when we talk about philosophical background. Of course, I I mean I mean <laughs> that is spiritual things uh, in the same way. Of course, in the existential direction, yeah, in psychotherapy, we have the same idea of a spiritual dimension. But this dimension uh, we can't uh, develop in uh, the first years of our life. Yeah, it's just. Uh, you have to achieve yeah, these things. Uh, so when I speak about harmony, um, uh, harmony, uh, I mean, this uh, spiritual uh, component is, of course, very close. I mean, but it's not religious, yeah? Uh, so spiritual doesn't mean religious. So um, I'm not sure that in English, in, in, in Russian, because sometimes, yeah, I hear from people that it's confusing, yeah, this things. Spiritual doesn't mean religious, yes. Okay, Aida and Evgeny, who wants to, <laughs> to be first? <laughs> I didn't uh, pay attention who raised the hand first. So, okay, who? who? Evgeny, I... go ahead. Go ahead. Girl, girl first. <laughs> <laughs> girl first. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. I want to ask about okay, okay, and okay, okay, okay. I, I mean, on the tatami, everyone has own uh, speed doing technique techniques also and harmony about when we connecting like okay and nage who should adapt the to this situation for example i'm nage but my okay is he's really his speed is really fast i mean he doing like more faster than me but i'm nage so what i should to do who should to adapt first like I'm Nage and I should to ask be a little bit slowly <laughs> or I should to like uh, give my energy and do more faster. So can you talk, can you tell me about the harmony between Uke and Nage? Thank you. Yeah, so it's, um, you know, I, it's, it's a very interesting question, but it's very tricky in that sense. Okay, in Aikido, it's a strong system. Martial arts is a system. It's a ritual system. It's a hierarchical system. If I am Nage, <laughs> so that means the one who is doing. So if, for example, your speed is very fast, yes, okay, you are kind of um, uh, taller than me, or I mean, it's um, how to say... <sighs> So you attack uh, on your own way, but I'm Nagia, so I have to finish this technique uh, in the way uh, that I will finish it uh, that you can uh, 
for example, fall down <laughs> to make the safety fallen, but you have to be safe. So in that sense, if you are taken very fast, oh, of course, I have, I mean, uh, there is a concept of uh, mirroring, ovase. Yeah, in Japanese uh, language, in Aikido, we talk about ovase. Of course, if you are uh, taking me fast, but I'm very slow, and I'm nagi, and I'm moving very slow, I'm nagi, you have to take that. No, I have to do it on time. So our said that is mirroring um, a principle. Yes, I have to reflect um, the speed. I have to reflect the rhythm. I have and I have to be very attentive uh, to the distance. So in Japanese language, the word ma'ai that we use in uh, Aikido, it's ma'ai. This is distance, but it's not only the physical distance. It's also psychological distance. So I have to keep safe distance for me to do technique um, reflection on this. Uh, his action but for example if he continue to do it uh, uh, fast but i'm already kind of controlling him we have this another term kudzushi yeah so it's like connecting of this uh hara so i'm i'm not yet so i i'm finishing he's attacking i'm finishing so and that means i'm already the one who is uh kind of um, yeah uh how to say showing the way how to do it and if i and so this is a, it's the key so it's about of concept key so when he is kind of attacking me with his own key my high level of masters i must master skill yeah i feel this key and if he is attacking with uh, a lot of aggression and don't know speed and something like uh which he was calling like bad key okay with my father <laughs> and what is my good key I have to be able to finish it and he has to feel my, um, you know, my key. So I have to use uh, this uh, uh, key in harmony, in uh, harmonic way to finish uh, a technique properly. And when I finish, I can finish. Uh, I mean, I can do it fast, but I, it's not necessary. If he's attacking fast, I can uh, take the moment. But when I uh, do the um, final step, I can do it slow. To let him feel That's another um, idea. Uh, I, I don't know if I was able to, to <laughs> give you an answer. It's more. It's of course. It's more about technical yeah. things. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but but for example, if to talk about life, it's not if not some, if it is not about the technique, it's the same in conversation. So if you kind of are very aggressive to me and very fast, okay, yes, I can. Um, I don't know. Mm -mm, uh, react to okay, stay here with line of attack if you are taking me. But then I can with uh, other words and with my <laughs> understanding. Um, of my heart, I guess I feel that I can do it. Uh, I can uh, turn the speech and the dialogue and the the dialogue and the way of dialogue. <laughs> if it's uh, like uh, not a dialogue, um, it's like I can to uh, finish this. For example, if he's attacking me, I can finish it in uh, harmony way. Not physically, but with dogs also. Uh, if I master, I can do it uh, also, yeah, um, without uh, technique. But in martial arts, what makes them specific? You know, when we feel it on the body and when we experience in physical way, it's much more easier to achieve harmony than when you do it cognitive, cognitively. Uh, thinking is slower, thinking is slower than uh, body, our body reaction. It's uh, body is more wisdom in uh, that sense. So in that sense, it's like uh, if I'm Nagia, so he's attacking okay, I'm mirroring, but uh, other things, uh, it's like me who is leading. But you know, sometimes, for example, if to continue this idea, if it's a great master, and uh, sometimes you even can't attack fast. So he is the, the, I mean, you didn't start uh, yet to do a technique, <laughs> but it's like, oh, you're already changing the speed. <laughs> It's a, it's a next, of course, it's uh, it's not about some mystical things. It's about uh, spiritual, yes, uh, background of a person who achieves some level in this spiritual background. Okay, did I answer? Okay. Thank you, yeah. Yes, you're welcome. Jane? Yes, thank you for your lecture. Um, I wanted to ask you about 
not about psychological uh, issues of this, but I think on the uh, some kind of philosophical issues. Um, that's the question was was born in my head because recently uh, there was a birthday of Buddha Vesak uh, Vesak day, and um, uh, when I I've, I've read about <clears throat> all of this history, and as as I am fond of Buddhism also, um, I thought about the 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 process of enlightenment, which mm. which uh, Buddha. Uh, pass through, yeah, and mm-hmm. so, and uh, enlightenment is an individual process, yeah, like it's a process of individual, some some kind of harmony. Uh, when you are passing some way, uh, in the context of which you are, for example, understand something or understand that you don't understand something or whatever. Uh, how the harmony in in the marital uh, the the concept of harmony in marital arts, uh, as I understood it, it is like communicative concept of because the marital arts is always some kind of communication. Maybe it's not so. <laughs> this is a question. So how this concept is relates to the concept of enlightenment? For example, maybe uh, the, well, maybe we see, uh, maybe we see Basan, uh, told about this something, or maybe you are feeling some kind of uh, some kind of answer to this question. So, what is the relation of enlightenment? With how it is understanding in Buddhism, and the harmony how is it is understanding in martial arts. So. This is a question of this relation of all of these two concepts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, yes, uh, thanks. Uh, but you see what the problem, I'm not professional in Buddhism philosophy, but in, uh, for example, Japanese uh, philosophy, it's a little bit a different concept of enlightenment, if to talk about Zen, because Satori, this is a term uh, of Zen Buddhism. And in, I mean, it's um, it's not like uh, in Buddhism, as I can understand, for example, to achieve uh, enlightenment in Buddhism, I have to, I don't know, pray for 50 years to be alone, stay outside of people, to achieve something that's uh, uh, beyond uh, my understanding. And uh, it's like beyond everything. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not professional, I'm just <laughs> kind of... Uh, it's my hypothesis. Yeah, it's how I understand the concept because I'm not uh, good in Buddhism. But in Zen, it's maximum. It's practical. I don't have to sixty years uh, pray in the forest uh, uh, to not have food. <laughs> I don't know uh, to stay away from these people to achieve uh, satori. I don't have to. <laughs> so I can uh, achieve Satori just uh, even right now to speaking with you. And for, or for example, when someone like a Zen master, uh, you know, he beats you with a stick. It's like, oh, this is a moment of enlightenment. I kind of went uh, uh, throughout my cognitive understanding and I achieved experience. So in uh, uh, Aikido, this is uh, about... Uh, <laughs> more about satori it's um, it's uh, not about cognitive concept of course it's about experience uh, uh, that uh, it's very difficult to talk about this then but it's like um, you know it's more it's it's a it's sexual experience it's not a cognitive concept it's like if i uh, experience satori um, for example this was a tree uh, but when i experience uh, satori this tree again the tree <laughs> but it's a different tree so and Uitiba, he um, he's a great master. His grandmaster, ma- Osen, say big teacher. <laughs> yes, uh, he when he was forty one, he experienced uh, this satori as he was uh, described. Uh, it's like uh, the uh, the moment when he felt uh, something. Um, but in his uh, understanding, he was explaining this like uh, the ex- experience of divinity. Divinity, that because but he was uh, in Sinto, so he was in Omoturyo. Of course, it's a little bit. Um, I mean, uh, um, 
different yes since it's not a zen but uh, i mean it's how to say it has some zen idea but what i'm trying to tell that in aikido it's a mix of this uh, japanese things it's not like in good Bud- i mean i mean you see i'm not professional in buddhism but the way you described me so it's like just uh, from your question like i just made this conclusion so if that in buddhism it's like that but i'm not professional so uh, that's a thing of uh, and this idea of martial arts you don't have to be out of something you can continue uh, live your life uh, you can continue do what you do i mean and you can reach this uh, hf yeah this uh, enlightenment and this satori just in simple things when you just walk when you just breathe when you communicate when you see the nature and it's not only about communication about people of course when we learn some technique we need this okay but uh, of course uh, there are um, um many other things how to practice martial arts also yeah for example in china uh we know about different styles of martial arts when people were just uh watching on uh, animals behavior yes and they just copy this movement yes and uh the really uh, big part in uh, this martial arts it's uh, nature it's my uh, relationship with nature people are just uh, one of the um, i mean it's important part but it's not <laughs> the only one of my life nature of course in japan it's gods yeah it's a lot of gods uh, yes for example yeah, yeah one of our participants yeah, he uh wrote before but he, uh, he just went uh now for reiki the class but he uh, mentioned before that for example in hinduism they have um 30 000 of gods and people believe in all of them <laughs> So it's a uh, Aikido. Uh, so this is uh, it's it's not like my purpose to achieve satori, but uh, the harmony <laughs> and the uh, the way of Aiki. Aiki. This is ancient concept. It's not uh, a concept that appeared in 20th century. Aikido appeared in 20th century in the middle years yeah, so of the 20th century when Second World War happened. Yeah, but Aiki. This is ancient terms. It's uh, it became from Shinto. This is uh, connected uh, with uh, spiritual. Yeah. Uh, but so when Aida, for example, was asking how to do a technique with uh, okay, if he is uh, taking too fast or too slow for me, he is not like me. So if I if I achieve this IK, it is my IK, I can uh, feel his IK and I can uh, reverse it in the harmony way, not to harm him finish a technique and when i finish a technique more than that if i'm professional and if i'm master i will learn something uh him <laughs> so from this from the way i do a technique he will understand something and sometimes he even can achieve some <laughs> some uh, harmony and some enlightenment or satori because uh in martial arts we don't use words i mean now i talk a lot but it's uh, easier and much uh, more understandable if i just uh, punch you and uh, just do a technique and you just feel you experience it's a pure experience it's it doesn't have uh, cognitive uh things it's very difficult that is why we have meditation not only we but uh people now practice meditation yes uh, and in uh, martial arts and training every martial arts have this meditative part also meditation yeah I'm not sure if I answered you. But... Uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, you answer the you answer the question professionally, but <laughs> I have, I have a continue. Uh, maybe it's it's something like a question or a question for discussion. I don't know, but in for example in Buddhism there are two um, or even how to, how to look on it or even three ways of of. Um, like three ways of moving uh, inside the Buddhism, like uh, Vajrayana, it's like a diamond uh, wheel, uh, which is practicing in Tibet. Mm-hmm. And it, it was a, we, we can understand it from, from our European um, uh, point of view or something like Middle Asian point of view. We can understand it uh, like, um, uh, for example, individual saving saver yeah like like when you are moving to the being the some kind of enlightened 
uh, to the, to save to save yourself yeah to, to save to to save your uh, uh, your consciousness and there are two other ways uh, one way calls hinayana mm-hmm. it's like a little will and it appears um, uh, actually it it appeared more um, more recently so more close to our times in china and they say also that you need to save yourself but through some public practices uh like not only sitting uh, like in the trees or something like that and the third way uh it's mahayan it's big wheel and inside this big wheel uh it is the, mo- the oldest um branch of buddhism and they say that um you can save yourself and through that saving of yourself you can save others like they have the concept which calls buddha jumped uh, uh they they call these uh guys uh for who who can save others they called uh but he said was who jumped um from under the ground uh-huh. like they moved under the ground and then jumped to save others, for example, to enlighten others. And um, I thought about uh, the, this connection of harmony and enlightenment in the terms of saving. So um, if I understood right your lecture and your previous lectures and and the Aikido, the Aikido is not uh, like non, non-painful methods like like oh no okay it's painful <laughs> but uh it is like preventive methods like uh, like some way of preventing of some uh blood for example or some i don't know disaster or something like that and um from this case maybe it is some kind of connected because the aikido can be the way of saving others because you are a professional in it for example yeah to to um, something like unpainful uh strike yeah and uh like this mahayana way of buddhism which is practicing in japan and china in india uh, all countries a lot of countries in the world so they are also thinking about saving others uh, but through the understanding of the Buddhism concept. So that this is just discussive, uh, discussive take. So <laughs> yes, yes, thanks. You know what? Uh, if to talk about this um, uh, philosophical idea of uh, Aikido, you know that um, Uishiba he called this martial arts uh, not only art of peace, but um, it's a, he, he called uh, Aikido like the cure for this world. So, and in that sense, for example, um, different martial arts, they were forbidden. Uh, Chinese martial arts, for example, they were forbidden, uh, in, uh, how to say, during last uh, century, it was forbidden to get, uh, to make this popular um, if you are not in China. <laughs> Just Bruce Lee, yeah, he uh, did the step when he uh, t- took this uh, martial arts, uh, yes, wushu, different wushu style in Chun, and uh, brought it into America. And he showed that why, if it it is helping people, why you can't practice it? It's very help helpful, yeah. So in that sense, because you see, it's a, it's again idea. You see, you, you just described uh, the uh, philosophical and r- religious component. It's Buddhism, it's religion. Uh, as I mentioned before, a, a, any martial arts has its uh, own philosophical uh, components, and it varies from country to country. And um, uh, it's uh, one of the parts of this martial arts. Okay, I, I can't speak for uh, any other, and, uh, but in, uh, for example, Aikido, it's Zen and Sinto, yeah, and uh, Daoism. So it's not uh, Buddhism, but I'm sure that uh, in India they have, uh, of course, uh, their own martial arts, but I'm not professional. But the idea 
it's just uh, to to help yes and people come to martial arts sometimes not uh, only to achieve harmony and <laughs> how to say um, to achieve the satori and enlightenment it's uh, as i mentioned before when i invite someone to join my aikido class or why or what i should fight <laughs> no it's a uh, painful it's aggression it's blood and, uh, and uh, yes in aikido we don't i mean sometimes we have it's not like we don't have to uh, be so romantic and tell that, yeah, in Aikido, we don't have traumas. Of course we have. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm in martial arts uh, more than 15 years, around 20. And of course I have traumas. Um, it's, uh, uh, I mean, so sometimes by my mistakes, sometimes by mistakes of people whom I was uh, training. Yeah, but we have to cope with these things and uh, you know, it's like yes it's um, sometimes people come to uh, martial arts to find something uh, to help them to cure them it's not uh, always so conscious yes yeah? so there are many uh, way how we can uh, help and cure ourselves psychotherapy for example one of these ways and in that sense uh, uh, sometimes i do these lectures and i always tell yeah about this that in uh, for example martial arts we have much more psychology than in psychology itself uh, but psychotherapy appeared also not so um, many years ago and that uh, it was invented in uh, western society to help people to cure themselves yeah in that sense martial arts uh, exists exist many centuries and uh, it has Sorry. no reason uh, i thought about one thing and maybe it, it could be interesting for your um for your future mm -hmm. just uh, discussion uh the the most for me it, it is like inside uh, the, the most um uh the most general maybe uh difference between the martial art which is saving people for example which is curing people in their minds and the uh, european psychotherapy which is also curing people in their minds is the uh individual prophylactics like uh, i mean in uh, no prophylactics how to how to call it in, like um, individual uh, pre rehabilitation, for example, because uh, in in um, in psychotherapy there are a lot of uh, uh, a lot of ways of working with uh, work with ourselves after working with patients, for example. Like I mean that we are wounded by them also. Like you know, like balanced groups, for example, which is. Uh, making which are making for uh, uh, for for example uh, people who is working in palliative care yeah and some individual psychotherapy for therapists and so on yeah and in martial arts there this component is is already included yeah for for, the, for somebody who is giving this curation yeah this just 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 maybe could be considered as a difference maybe. I don't know. Yes, it has its specific. Sorry, I interrupted you, but as it's uh, the specific of a teacher and sensei. So uh, any school of martial arts, it has, I mean, there are plenty of these uh, martial arts styles. Uh, and uh, it's like uh, usually behind uh, the school, there is a figure of teacher. In Aikido, for example, that was uh, O sensei. So by default, he achieved Satori. Yes, he achieved an alignment, so he is more wisdom. So this is very, uh, very spiritual person. Yes, and in that sense, I can learn from him. Uh, he has, uh, he had this uh, his uh, direct pupil in psychology and psychotherapy. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, such tradition in uh, each direction of teacher and the pupil of sensei and pupil. It's a specific relationship, to be honest. But uh, this is a weak spot sometimes of uh, psychotherapy, you know. I, I, in that sense, uh, because I belong to both fields, sometimes I think that uh, psychotherapy should uh, take something from, I mean, take uh, some system from a martial arts uh, system. But it's a system anyway. But uh, we have to be respectful to psychotherapy also. It was invented in different time. There's a little bit different uh, 
idea in different society. It's not so ancient, but the way how to help people and to help myself and how to cure in this uh, world that um, have a lot of sufferings, not only now, it's not new. I mean, it was psychotherapy. Even now, there is psychotherapy and there are plenty of ways how to help yourself. It's not necessary. But yeah, in that sense, it's true. There, I mean, there are some 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 scene and it's a figure of sensei of course there's also the found i mean in psychotherapy they have the founders of this uh, school direction but it's now it's 600 of the schools and <laughs> yes yes thanks it's a good it's a good maybe one of our next lectures by the way um i will do about uh, yes um this uh, um, understanding of a figure of teacher, probably, and <laughs> some say, and psychotherapist. Uh, it's interesting. Yeah, why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks, thanks. Is there any other question? No? <laughs> okay, I hope I was able to give some message <laughs> about harmony, how to achieve harmony through the art of combat. <laughs> yeah, okay, but I hope people uh, will be uh, watching our YouTube uh, video, so thank you that you are asking some really good question yet to me. And uh, I think uh, probably next uh, lecture will be uh, about um, comparison of uh, psychotherapy and the martial arts. So actually I was asked uh, uh, to compare um, existential direction and um, philosophy of uh, Aikido. Uh, and my second lecture lecture will be about um, this uh, com comparison. But uh, anyway, if you have some ideas, like, for example, Jenny just gave me another one about sensei, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, about teacher in... Uh, Different different activities. <laughs> Teachers uh, also we have at schools, yeah. Uh, but if you have some ideas, questions, just okay. I, anyway, I planned uh, this uh, not only like two or three lectures. I was planning to do it uh, like a course, several lectures. So just offer me, and it's okay. I can I can give any of them if I understand something. Not any if I understand uh, something in this topic because uh, the field of martial arts is very big huge you know we have to talk about philosophy of aikido it's a very specific philosophy also we have to understand all these concepts a yeah, key uh harmony yes uh understanding of a person this um it's like in technical part of aikido there are also uh very beautiful senses yeah the movements how we create the movement it's in aikido it's also um uh, very um, a strong philosophical component yeah the figure of circle triangle square and <laughs> it also has its own meaning so it's very beautiful okay so can we finish for today or you have another question do you want anything to say to say to add <laughs> Thank you for thank you for your um, important topic. Yeah, this thank you. Yeah, thank you for brilliant information. Yeah, about harmony, how to achieve this harmony. Yeah, thank you. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Thanks so that you were with me. <laughs> okay, Arigato. We finish for today. Hope to see you soon. <laughs> bye Hope bye. See you soon. Bye, bye bye. See ya. Thank you. Bye bye.